Hi, I'm Bird. I'm not so Bird. And we're gonna bake something. Bro, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, hi. This is Cobb the Cobalt. Hi, I'm Cobb. I'm a Cobalt. You can find me here, I assume, at scrum.live. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, put a, we'll put a thing right there. Yes. And we're gonna make some of Cobb's family homemade cookies. Yes. Yeah. I love chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, These Cobb. cookies are a little different just because we add some more flour to make them really fluffy. Mm -hmm. I like some fluffy cookies. It's fluffy. Yeah. Ah. No. Ah. Yes. Ah. Yeah. All right. So let's go over the ingredients. All right. So Cobb's family also usually doubles the recipe here. So we're also going to double it. But uh, she's just going to read out the single ingredients. Yes. So we have one cup butter softened, three fourths cup sugar, three fourths cup packed light brown sugar, one teaspoon vanilla, two eggs, two and a quarter cups unsifted all purpose flour that we actually do two and three fourths so that they're, they're fluffy, mm. one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and two cups of Hershey's semi sweet, but we usually do milk chocolate because. I mean babies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we got milk chocolate. So yes. I'll just steal one. <laughs> <laughs> so time for the mixing. We need to cream the butter, sugar, brown sugar, and vanilla until it's about light and fluffy. Then we add the eggs and beat it well. Then we add the flour, baking soda, and salt. Make sure you add the flour gradually otherwise it's just gonna be really hard and might make a mess then after all that's mixed together then you drop in the chocolate chips start with creaming the butter sugar brown sugar and vanilla until light and fluffy okay Lastly, pour vanilla on it. Don't try and drink it. It's gross. It is. <laughs> your mom. Did your mom do that with you? Give you a <laughs> teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract? No. Oh god, that was something our mom did. It's like, hey, this smells good. Do you want a teaspoon? Yeah! <laughs> Doing all of them, or what's that? It's my fancy egg cracker. A fancy egg? What? You want to use it? Yeah. Yeah. I got that because I don't want to touch my unborn children. So. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Especially with your with your beautiful beautiful hands. My big my big meaty claws. I can't grab anything. Actually, what we do for uh, my sister because she prefers them flat mm. so we'll make it with less flour first for like a couple batches yeah. and then we add the rest of the flour after mm.
Now that we've added the flour slowly, time for drop one chips. Oh no. I got it. Okay. Yeah. I eat it. <laughs> I can easily get it. No, I did get it. You're not wrong. Okay, there we go. It was gonna be eaten eventually anyway. Eventually. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Stop it. Get, get down there. Cool. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's heavy. There we go. Yeah. All, All right. right. Okay, let's put these on the trays. Okay, and now we're going to spoon the dough out in little teaspoonfuls onto ungreased cookie sheets. And then we're gonna bake them at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for eight to 10 minutes. And we're gonna take them out and put them on another surface to cool. There's one, there's two. Oh. And I get to use just one. Oh. So just get a teaspoon. Yep, if I can do it, get a little, that's kind of big, but yeah. get, a, get a smaller dollop than that. Yeah. That's closer. Yeah. And then, uh, the best about organization that, uh oh, I did it wrong. Uh, the best organization we do is three and then four. So, three rows and then put four along them. Okay. That way they have ample room to grow. Yes. Cookies need, need space to, they to, need, to grow and improve their lives. They need nurturing. Need, yes. Thank you so much, Cobb, for that recipe and for visiting. Mm, uh, yeah. Yeah, I love you. Love you too. Are they good? Yeah. Good? You're good. I'm eating yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, so we made... Oh, lean out of the way here. So we made some right there, but um, this made a lot more. As you can see here. We have a little bit of cookies. A lot of cookies. A lot of cookies. But I tried to tell you. Double batch makes yeah. a bunch. I mean, it does make a bunch. So if you want less, you can just have it. Or just follow what we read out at the beginning anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, next week, I think I'm going to try to replicate some store-bought cookies. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. But I'll see you next time for that. Same time, same place. Until then, I hope you all have a great week. Love you all. Bye. Bye.